Hello, hello, crafty peeps. Welcome back to my channel, Crafty Ish Kristen. Today we are going to have ourselves a little whip and chatty rant. What is a whip and chatty rant, you may be asking yourself? Whip, W I P, stands for work in progress, and a chatty rant is me chatting and ranting about the goings on in my life over the past week or so. Uh, today, Duncan, well, Duncan's not going to be helping, but he's standing on my canvas. Duncan is going to move so I can work on this kit from Erin's Diamond Addiction. I will have everything I am using and working on listed in the description box down below. Uh, this is called Prisma, and it is by the artist Cajun Beauty. It is a beauty. It is looking amazing. Uh, I am right kind of at the halfway mark, I believe. If, you know, that's in the middle, then I'm, I'm near the middle. Uh, it has, how many colors does it have? I don't remember. Um, 60? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Uh, no, almost 61. I don't remember. I, I can, I can't see it because my cat's sitting on the legend. Uh, I am using my papers from B's Crafty Corner. Could you not, please? I have my ephemera 3D Deep Six Tray. I have my pen from Jim's Handmade Pens on Etsy. Bella Art Dana Cole Multiplacer 3D Printed. Galactic Alien Putty. Uh, tweezers. Uh, scissors. Uh, and then... This is the Poolside Pippi sticker that will be done. Uh, I'm closing the Google Doc uh, because next week is the launch of the brand new sticker set for Halloween. So let me get zoomed in and we will be working on this general area. Uh, so don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. All right, we're going to do this one first because there's only one random drill. Oh, cats are, cats are fighting. Fantastic. Uh, I hope everybody is doing something fun while I work on this. And if you're not doing something fun, well, then I hope we can keep each other company. All right, let's see. Why did I leave the dark colors? That was stupid. <laughs> Oh, goodness, goodness, goodness. So this is actually huh, Whip and Chatty Rant number 50. 50, which I was like, wait, what? Because uh, I've been doing this for a year, but then I remembered that I did a few videos um, and I, I they weren't Whip and Chatty Rants for the week. So yeah, I mean, not that it matters. Uh, but still, oh, I just realized I gotta, oh, sorry, I'm moving everything around. I was like, we forgot to turn on the, the autofocus. So if you are watching, hopefully I don't make you nauseous with the camera zooming in and out. Okay, I have a little bit of extra putty on here. So I'm gonna trim that just so it doesn't go all over the place. So yeah, this is number 50. Well, that's exciting. At least I think it's exciting. Um, what, let's see, this week, this week, this week. Uh, first, thank you everybody who commented on the video last week where I was saying I was feeling a little, you know, overwhelmed and comparing myself to others and all that all that hoopla. Uh, I mean, not that I'm, I was to say, I'm grateful that I'm not the only one that feels that way. Cause obviously I don't want anyone to feel that way, but I think you guys know what I mean when, you know, I know, I know I'm not the only one that struggles with anxiety and comparing and, and all the stuff. Uh, so it was, it was nice to, you know, hear that people, people understand and, you know, just gotta take a chill pill, right? Just chill it down. So, 
that is what I am trying to do. Let's see, we, okay, first, before I, you know, go into the week, uh, I did, I thought, <laughs> so we went to the ocean, right? And why is it every time we go somewhere, all the deliveries come while we're gone? I think there was, let's see, we had the post, um, the mail lady, she brought something. Uh, Amazon brought stuff. UPS brought stuff. FedEx brought stuff. And the uh, random person in a car that delivers for AliExpress brought stuff. I was like, oh my gosh. I, I think the only people that maybe didn't come are DHL, which they don't really do a lot in our area. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so big delivery weekend. I got my Calming Canvas Designs uh, kits, so that's super exciting because I, you know, I mean, I wanted to work on them for Christmas in July. Oh, see, I just realized I missed one of those. Well, you know what? It's going to be a different color and I don't care. Uh, that didn't really work out, which is okay. I'm not like I'm going to run out of things to work on. And let's see. I got, oh yes, and I got a, um, what do you call it? A uh, package that's a uh, PR package. I'm very excited about. Uh, and I got my kit from Raven Diamond Art. And I got, <laughs> I got a new goose outfit. Uh, hi, Sharky. Hello. And... Let's see what else I got a custom from ever moment and I got, I mean, I, I swear everything I ordered all came while we were gone. Uh, and then I ordered some specialty drills from AliExpress from two different stores and one store I got ABs in round and square. And j upon just a quick brief look, I'm not going to link the squares. I know I'm not going to because they look, I mean, I mean, I'm pretty sure they're acrylic for the price I paid and just looking in the little package, I'm like, yeah, no, <laughs> nope. They are too tabby for me. I have a feeling, but I could be wrong. Maybe it was just the one color that I looked at. I could be wrong. I could be judging the whole, the whole package. Uh, but I mean, the rounds are probably okay because rounds are a little more forgiving when it comes to stuff like that. And then the other company I ordered from, it says that they are resin and they kind I think they are resin and I ordered fairy dust, but, and I don't know if this is shop error or operator error because I don't feel like AliExpress is very user-friendly when it comes to ordering crap from their site. Uh, I wanted to get some round and square fairy dusts in the same color. So, you know, for example, like if I was ordering, I, I don't know, like, you know, 959, I would order it in round and square. Uh, but I don't know if the site automatically did it or I just didn't pay attention, but it auto corrected the order. So I got two round packages of things instead of a round and a square. So I think I only managed to get one package that I had only ordered square in and not round. Uh, so that's kind of a bummer because I wanted to, you know, see what the squares were like. Uh, so but again, that could have been my fault because I was anxiety purchasing. Uh, so I probably should have checked. Uh, but I do know that I, I put them in the cart as round and then I put them in the cart as square. So maybe you can't do that. I don't know. Uh, it's fine. It's all fine. Okay. I am missing. So it's weirdly overcast right now. Uh, so I can't see, <laughs> I can't see very well what I'm doing or the reflection on the, on the canvas with the overhead light. And so, yeah, I will miss them. That's okay. 
I'm going to go back and fix it. Uh, I don't think I ordered anything. I don't think I spent any money on diamond painting stuff last week. Uh, which is good because, you know, can't be ordering stuff every week. Oh, I did. I think I, I it was last week or the week before. I may not have mentioned it. But I did get a uh, sample of something that also will be announced next week. Uh, very, very excited. It looks super, super cute and awesome. And uh, yeah, it will be a very, oh, see, I missed another nine. Oh, you know what? You're just getting that one on it. I don't care. Nobody's going to notice. And if you do notice, well, guess what? Then don't get so close to my cameras. Okay, okay. Yes, so this item will also be available next next week when I do my my whip and chatty rant. Very, very excited. Uh, very I did share a little sneak-ish peek, but not like a full peek on my Facebook page. So if you're not on my Facebook page, you should join it. The link is in the description box down below. And what else? That, I think that's it for diamond painting. I did not get much diamond painting in because I went to the ocean and I did bring my adorable little cat diamond painting that I kitted up. But the hotel is very dark. And even though I did bring my little neck, like rechargeable neck light, it, it just was not enough and there was not really a good place to sit and try to diamond paint and hold my tray and uh, yeah, it just was it was not working so I kind of I don't think I diamond painted Friday through Monday which is a long time I was very I was very pissy on Monday morning because we went to the store and I was like why am I so why am I so mad? Like I was just, I was mouthing off, you know, I mean, obviously not to people's faces because I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to get stabbed or shot or something, but I was definitely very mouthy in the car. And then I was like, oh yeah, that's probably because I haven't had any actual like time to myself and to do something I want to do besides, you know, just looking at my phone randomly because uh, I couldn't diamond paint. Uh, so yeah. I did get to do a little bit of diamond painting last night, and that was lovely. I worked on this little section here. Uh, so I did not get much done in the way of actual, you know, bigger kits. Uh, I think I'm at the, I'm almost at the 50% mark for the last supper. Uh, I will put a picture up of where I am at. I trimmed the... Duncan, what are you doing? Oh my goodness. Uh, he, did, oh, seriously? Did you really just tip over my bottle? I'm glad I put the lid on it, you big jerk. Seriously. Um, what was I saying? Last supper. So I trimmed the clear plastic cover sheet kind of around like the Jesus outline, if that makes sense. So I'm going to diamond paint kind of up to his midpoint uh, and leave him, you know, leave him alone. <laughs> leave Jesus alone. And then uh, I'm going to flip it and work from the other side, you know, down, down up. At least that's the plan. Okay. Why are you, why can I not shake this properly? Am I that out of practice? <laughs> And the cat is still meowing. I don't know. Dude, they were... They missed us. I mean, you know, my mom was here, obviously, so... But it's not the same, because she doesn't sleep upstairs. So she sleeps, you know, down in her little apartment. Uh, so I'm sure they were very, very weirded out. And so when we got home, they were just attached to us. They would not let us out of their sight. Which is fine by me because I don't sleep well when I don't have my cat curled up at my feet. You know, right, buddy? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, let's see. So last supper, mm, kind of, you know, halfway mark. And this one, nah, pretty much right here. So I don't remember where I was the last time. 
and I have not put any drills down on the Art and Soul stained glass cross canvas. Uh, I think I'm going to do a row of that when I finish this row. And that is pretty much it for for what I worked on. It was not very it's not a very productive week, and that's okay. I mean, can't can't bust out a diamond painting every week. Especially when you have a bunch of big ones. So, yep, yep, yep. Ah, let's see. So we went to the <laughs> we went to the ocean and uh holy moly, I'm <laughs> just not built for travel. I don't think, I don't know how people travel for a living. I would just, I would be a ball of nerves, I think. Would not be, I mean, maybe you get used to it. I don't know, but I don't see that ever happening. I don't see myself traveling enough to get used to it. <laughs> uh, oh, my tummy is making a weird noise. I hopefully that nobody can hear that. Let's see. So we we left our house a little bit later than we normally do. Uh, normally we leave around 10 a.m. and we left at 11 a.m. That was a huge mistake. Huge, huge, huge. Uh, because again, I don't. Not everybody lives around me, so you don't know what the traffic's like. But I'm sure we all have, you know known traffic issues in our area. Uh, so we have to go down the uh, I-5 freeway to get to the coast. Well, there's a lot of, you know, congested areas. And with us leaving an hour later than we normally do, it took us almost two hours to go 50 miles on the freeway. And, you know, basic, basic math will tell you that if the speed limit is 60 miles an hour and there are 60 minutes in an hour, that would mean that you would be going 60 miles, you would travel 60 miles in one hour if you're going 60 miles an hour. Uh, so we went 50 miles in two hours. It was very uh, stop and go, stop and go, stop and go, stop and go. Uh, you know, and the kids are like, when are we going to get there? And, you know, it's like you can just be quiet in the backseat because, number one, you get to watch videos and play video games while I drive and deal with the complete and utter morons around me who are bobbing and weaving. It's like moving from one lane to the other, to the other, to the other, it's not going to get you there any faster, dude. Just stay in one lane. If everyone just stayed in their freaking lane, I bet we would get there faster. But no. So we have to drive through several bigger cities. Uh, plus we have to go past a military base, which the traffic is just freaking ridiculous driving past that. So yeah, I was a, I was a little... <laughs> you know, white knuckle it in some parts and I get get a little lippy. Not gonna lie. When I'm driving, especially when I'm driving in traffic and you know there's stupid people all around me. So luckily nobody can hear me besides my family. And technically my kids aren't listening because they have headphones and so really it's just my poor husband who's just like, yep, I know, I know. But he knows how to block me out too. So Mainly, it's just me listening to myself. Oh, see, I forgot a, oh, I forgot a square. You know what? You're getting a blue. It, mm, no, I can't do that. Oh my god, no, nope, nope. Certain times I can just pop one in. That's not one of them. That will look stupid. Okay, it's fine. What symbol am I doing? I'm doing this one. Okay, I'm doing the arrow. So that was a little, hmm, it's a little stressful. And so we normally we stop at a, a Dairy Queen, but because we left later and we arrived, you know, down the freeway later, I was like, we need to eat lunch somewhere closer to where we are. Because if we would have waited until we got to where we normally go, uh, it would have been close to two o'clock. And then that's really close to dinner time. And yeah. 
Oops, we stopped at a Burger King. And that was extra, extra, extra chaotic. Lots of people inside and lots of people's children just like aimlessly wandering around, you know, trying to get soda from the machine. And it's like, okay, I just, can I get soda? Can you move your child? Please, please, please. Thank you. No. Uh, so we got our, you know, we got our stuff. The ice maker wasn't working in the soda machine. I'm like, that's, that's great. Okay, whatever, you know. And then my son was like, oh, they have mozzarella sticks. And I'm like, those can't be good. <laughs> Sorry, but they can be good. But he's like, can we try them? I'm like, I guess. So we get the mozzarella sticks, which I don't even know. Well, I don't remember the last time I went to a Burger King. So there's that. And uh, so my daughter's eating one and she, you know, she, she talks a lot. And so she's talking while she's chewing. And then all of a sudden her eyes just get huge. And I'm like, what, what? And she's like, eh. and I'm like, oh my God. Like, so we're trying to like, you know, get her to, to cough the cheese up because the cheese went down her throat. And I'm like, okay, maybe just, maybe just eat, <laughs> you know? Like, I know you want to talk while you're eating, but just pick one thing. Either talk or eat. Don't do both. So she's like, well, I'm not eating any of those ever again. And I was like, well, I'm not going to let you have another one. So there's that. So yeah, that was a... <laughs> not how I want to start off my vacation, right? You're like, oh my gosh. So you're sitting in traffic. Kid almost chokes on the stupid mozzarella stick. <laughs> Uh, so then, you know, I made sure everybody used the bathroom. I'm like, everybody pee. People are like, I don't have to go. And I'm like, I don't care. Just go try it. And guess what? Most people, they peed. I'm like, exactly. Ah, oh, but it's like, it's not something you want to see when you go into a public bathroom. And uh, the, what do you call it? You know, the, the red, the red box that like, you know, if you have, like you go to the doctor's office and they give you a, you know, a flu shot or something and they put the, the shot, you know, the, the needle in the little, the sharps bin, that's what it's called. When the sharps bin in the bathroom at the Burger King is full, I don't know. It's not something I really want to see. Like, why is that full? Like, I, I don't know. Maybe people have, you know, diabetes or something and maybe people are using IV drugs. I don't know. But I'm like, don't touch anything. Just don't touch anything. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do A right there. Well, that was fun, you know. Uh, we go to this little arcade place that's in a mall that's pretty much been condemned because it's sinking. Uh, and we go there all the time whenever we go to the ocean just because it's a way to kill time, number one. Because again, if we leave too late, uh, we get stuck in, you know, twice as much traffic. So it's better to leave early stop at the arcade place, you know, and then travel on our merry way. Oops, I did not put those in. Uh, but they sold them all. Somebody actually bought the condemned sinking into the hole in the ground mall. And so the place has to close. And they're closing at the end of August, I think, uh, which is sad uh, because, you know, people are gonna lose their jobs, obviously. Uh, but it's also sad because we have a bunch of like video game arcade points for this place and there's no, what, what letter is that? I can't even see it. Oh, that's the percentage sign. Well, uh, there's no way we could have used all of those points that we've accumulated, uh, before this place closes. Uh, so that's a bummer. So we were trying, you know, like, okay, you, you know, normally you're like, don't waste your points. Now it's, you know, waste your points because, you know, you're going to have to, if you want to get anything from the prize area, which, you know, it's not good anyways, let's be real, you know, but we need to use them up because, you know, you're not going to get another chance. Well, we still had probably, I don't know. 60 60 dollars worth of arcade points and they had already gotten rid of some of the better <laughs> arcade games let's say uh, so it's kind of like okay well this is kind of boring like 
you know, I mean, my husband and I were even, you know, trying to, <laughs> to play games to use up the points, but it's like, mm, okay. So we went to the prize area and we had 8,000 prize points. Okay. That is a trashy one. And so normally, you know, it's like, you can't get anything good. And so we had 8,000 points. They had some Hello Kitty stuffies. Uh, they were 2,000 points each. And my daughter's like, well, I don't know. And I was like, dude, just get get, get, to, get the two you want. Because what else are we going to get? Because I, I saw her eye in the candy area. And I'm like, we are not spending 8,000 points on candy. <laughs> no, thank you. I'm not that cool. We don't need 8,000 points worth of candy. Uh, so she got two Hello Kitty stuffed animals. She got a plastic horse that literally looked like it came from the dollar store. And we each got a thing of candy because, you know, why not? But, I mean, we still had, we still had 2,000 points. Or no, we had 1,000, 1,000 something, right? And, I'm, and she's like, well, I don't really want anything. My son's like, I don't want anything. And I'm like, well, I, I don't want anything. And so there was a a mom and her son, you know, standing there waiting to, to claim their, their prizes. And so we just were like, Hey, you want to, you want 1500 points? The kid's like, what? And we're like, dude, we're, we're not going to use them. I mean, I'm not going to, I'm not going to have her just get 1500 points worth of crap that nobody really wants. I was like, I'd rather, you know, I'd rather share the love and give it to someone else. So so yeah, so you know, pass on the kindness and all that jazz. Uh, so that was kind of that was kind of nice, you know. Like, and of course, my daughter was like, "You gave away our points." I'm like, dude, we don't need more stuff. We don't need the stuff that we just got. Uh, so no, it's fine. <laughs> my husband's like, uh, technically, it was my money that bought those, so I will do what I want with it. <laughs> uh, so yeah. So that's a bummer. That means that's one less thing that we have, you know, to occupy ourselves with when we when we go down to the ocean. I mean, it's it sucks for the area because I think that's one of the only, you know, kid centric things. Uh, and I don't know what they're putting in. I know it's not going to be a mall, but one of the employees said that they thought that. They were going to be, you know, they're going to keep the outside shell of the building because that's, because that's okay, but it's the inside that needs to be completely gutted and the foundation needs to be re, relaid, relayed, laid, laid, I don't know. It needs to be put back down. Uh, I would not be surprised if it wasn't turned into like an Amazon warehouse or something like that, which would probably bring a lot of jobs to that area because it's very, uh, it's a low income area. Uh, so that could, it could, it could be a blessing in disguise. So I don't know. I've just realized I totally forgot that I need to do these. I keep sticking my hand in it. Okay. Let's do number nine. Oh goodness. And my, my screen mirroring turned off on the TV. I'm good. I'm working blind. So if I go out of shot, just, you know, pretend that I'm not. Let's see, what else? Let me look at my notes because I don't trust my brain. Um, let's put a few drills down. I had another, where did it go? I lost, I lost my stuff. I lost my train of thought. I lost my stuff, losing my mind. It's all good. Uh, let's see. But our room, our room was ready. I was so excited. <laughs> we did get down there at four o'clock and, uh, luckily the room was ready. That was a, uh, that was a treat. Very excited about that. What symbol is that? Okay. That is not a symbol I'm using it. Um, uh, so we got to check in and we're on the second floor instead of the fourth floor this time. And uh, that was uh, maybe not the best choice because uh, when you're on the second floor, you're surrounded above 
below and side to side uh, by other humans. <laughs> and the humans were humaning. Oh my gosh. Oh, I, I don't think I could ever live in an apartment or a condo or somewhere where I had to share wall space with anyone. Uh, I just, I don't think I could do it. And I'm sure if you live somewhere like that, like you're used to hearing people and noises. Uh, but anytime somebody used water or flushed the toilet or took a shower, it sounded like the pipes above us were going to burst, which is not what you want to hear when you're laying in bed at all. You don't want to feel like you're going to get soaked with toilet water. Not at all. So the, well, I don't know if this is the most eventful part. It was eventful for our neighbors because I was excited because it was actually pretty quiet and I was like, oh man, I might actually get to sleep this trip, right? Yes. So laying in bed, you know, do, 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 do. And uh, I hear the neighbors <laughs> open their door. Cause you know, like when you're in a hotel and you have the, the electronic key card things and it's like, do, 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 you know, announcing to everybody in the hallway that you're home great. Uh, I heard their thing and I'm like, oh, okay, maybe they're in for the night. Oh, they were in for the night. And I hear the guy go, hey, honey, I'm home. And I was like, oh, okay. Okay. Hopefully you're going to be quiet now. No, they were not quiet. Uh, they were not quiet while they were uh, expressing their love for each other. So laying there, and I'm like, do do do. Okay, hurry up. Force yourself to go to sleep. You know, hopefully you can sleep. You can sleep. You can do this, Kristen. You can do this. You're an adult. You can sleep in a different place. You don't have to be in your house to sleep. You can do this. No, I couldn't sleep because they were going at it, and it was not quiet. And I don't know if it was. I don't think it was the bed hitting the wall, but you could definitely hear the bed. Uh, hitting the floorboards and the noises from the humans. And I was like, oh dear God, you know, like I know it's, am I out here throwing shade at people who, you know, want to express their love physically? Uh, but I don't want to hear it because, um, yeah, I'm, I'm not a voyeur. I don't, I don't want to watch other people doing that. I don't want to hear people doing that. Uh, it's just, that's just a no thank you. I feel like that's just a common courtesy thing when you're in a public place or you're sharing walls with people that, um, you know, if you want to do that, great. But, um, could you maybe do be a little quieter? I don't know. So yeah, I'm horrified. I'm putting the pillow over my head. Like, dear God, dear God, just finish. And you know, maybe you're done. Well, yeah. So then the noise has stopped. Then they're just talking, you know, and and I don't know if they're talking loud or if it's just the walls are really thin. Maybe it's both. <laughs> Not even five minutes later. I was like, oh, dear God. Are, are they doing it again? <laughs> my husband's like, what? And I'm like, oh, my God, they're doing it again. He's like, shh, they're going to hear you. I'm like, I don't care. I don't want to hear them. So I went to the living room. <laughs> I was like, I can't. Because, No. <laughs> Just no, just just a big old pile of nope. <laughs> uh, I folded out the 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 pull out couch bed. I was like, I guess I'm sleeping in the living room. <laughs> uh, but the pull out couch was super uncomfortable. <laughs> so the mattress was super thin, and you I could feel the uh, the support bar <laughs> through uh, the mattress. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. All right. Yes. Um, I did eventually get to sleep though. I mean, I must have slept. Uh, but then, you know, because it's a, it's like a fishing town. So a lot of people will go on charter fishing thingy mabobbers. Uh, so a lot of people get up early to go fishing. So you hear everybody's doors slamming, them coming and going and the, uh, the neighbors who, you know, really love each other. Uh, they got up early 
and one of them left the room, but apparently they forgot their key card. So I don't know what time it was. I think it was probably 6.30, 7 a.m. Uh, they were banging on the door. Hey, let me in, let me in. And it's like, could, could you just, could you not be a jerk and, and do that in the hallway at 7 a.m.? Waking everybody up? No, no. Uh, so that was fun. That was fun. That was our first night and morning. Uh, and then I thought, well, maybe I could sleep in a little bit, right? Like, I'll just go back and, you know, now that I know they're gone, <clears throat> go back to the back bedroom and try to, you know, maybe sleep for another hour. I uh, know that's when the chainsaw started going outside. They were uh, trimming tree branches. I was like, well, I guess we're up for the day. Fantastic. Fantastic. So, yeah. We went to the beach. And it's a Washington beach, so it's not, you know, pristine, you know, sand and smooth smoothness. No. Washington beaches are a little rougher. I will put a picture. I took, uh, it wasn't bad. Like, it's not, I mean, that that's the only kind of beach I know. So I've never, I don't think I've ever been to a beach that looks like a beach in a movie, you know, where the sand is clear and not full of rocks and pebbles and, and stuff like that. Uh, oops, my bad. Uh, but it was definitely overcast, but it wasn't windy. Uh, the wind is what kills it at a Washington beach. If it's really, really windy, it's almost unbearable to walk around. So this was not bad. I was, I was quite happy and we bought a little tent thingy mabobber. Uh, so I was, I mean, there was no sun. It was not sunny, so I didn't actually have to worry about getting a sunburn, which again uh, is nice. I will take it. So, but found lots of shells and lots of rocks and ate my candy and all that jazz. Let's see. I have I have missed a bunch of drills. It's fine. And nobody knows. I need pee. No, not that kind of pee. Uh, speaking of peeing, yes, we <laughs> we got to the beach and my dad was like, I have to pee. And I'm like, really? There's nowhere to pee. You know, like we're not dressed to go into the ocean because the ocean looked very uh, kind of gross. You know, when it's like a, is it a high tide when the water looks a little bit, I don't know, foamier and just, ugh. and it was really strong too. That's another thing is the, the waves can be really, really strong. And if you're not careful... They can pull you under, or is it the undertow that pulls you, or the undercurrent? I don't know these terms. I'm pretending like I know what I'm talking about, but I don't. Uh, so you definitely have to be careful that you don't go out too far because you will get sucked out. But that was fun. We actually ate at a place, a new place. We didn't get to go last time because it was closed on a Sunday. Uh, it was a taquilleria, and it was really good. And the portion sizes were way bigger than I was expecting. Uh, so I got both kids a quesadilla, which I should have known. Well, the problem is, okay, the quesadilla is $14.99, right? But there's no way to know, unless you've been somewhere, how big that, that portion is going to be. Uh, so I got them each their own quesadilla, you know, and I got something and my husband got a burrito and they brought out the food and these quesadillas were massive. I mean, the tortillas had to have been, I don't know, like a 12 inch pizza size. Uh, so it had four pieces of quesadilla per, per child. <laughs> they each ate one slice of quesadilla and they're like, uh. I can't eat anymore. And I'm like, no, don't, don't force yourself. I did not give myself enough drills. Don't force yourself to eat. I don't need you getting sick and, you know, yakking all over the place. Uh, but my husband's like, this is like the best burrito I've ever had. I mean, it was a massive burrito too. Uh, so for, for the price, like it was a lot of food, which you don't see nowadays as much. At least we don't. Uh, so we were like, we'll definitely go back there if we go back to the, you know, to that area. But who doggies? Yeah, I was because I was like, oh, my God, $14 for a quesadilla. You know, that's that's a lot of money. 
Uh, but it was, I mean, it was, it was a ginormous quesadilla. So they could have shared a quesadilla, honestly. I mean, with the two quesadillas, I probably didn't need to order something because I didn't eat all my food either. So we easily could have all eaten off of those two quesadillas. Well, maybe not my husband, but still. The children and I could have, and we would have not been starving or hungry after the fact. Let's see. So after... <laughs> After the, uh, the, the people, the, the neighbors, <laughs> did leave. And so I was like, okay, well, let's see. Maybe, you know, maybe people will, you know, move in that are quiet. No, no. They were up all night talking. So I went back out to the... No, I didn't go back out to the couch. Um, my... <laughs> so the, the way the hotel suite we were staying in is kind of weird. But basically, there's like an area with two queen-size beds. So the kids slept in those, and we slept in the back bedroom. Uh, but my son is kind of like me sometimes with the, the noises. Just sometimes the little noises will just make it so he can't sleep. So yeah, uh, his sister was, uh, was making noises in her sleep. She was talking and snoring a little bit. And so he was freaking out, and it was, you know, like 5.30, and... So my husband's like, just, you go lay, you just go lay back there. And I'm already up, I'm awake. And so he tried to go and like sleep and get a little bit more extra sleep. And it was just, you know, people are just a little tired, a little tired and cranky, which, you know, I get, I get that. Let's see. Okay. I am going to pause because I need to move this over. And I cannot see if I'm in frame because my screen mirroring is not working. So I will be right back. All right. I just realized, I just realized that's an eye as I'm looking in the viewfinder. Ooh, that looks so cool. All right. Let's go to the person symbol. There are no special drills in this kit. And I, mean, I don't think it needs it, but I would love to see some some specialty drills in some of these areas i think it would look really really cool uh, let's see what else uh so the room we were staying in is in a like at the end of the hotel and the wi-fi is not the strongest there uh, so that was kind of a bummer. I mean, and I know like you're on vacation, you don't need Wi-Fi, blah, blah, blah. But you know, at the end of the day when, you know, there's, there's literally no stores open because everything closes at, you know, six or whatever. You've already eaten dinner. You've already gone in the pool. What else are you going to do? You know, you know, just kind of want to sit back, maybe watch something or, you know, play a game or whatever. Uh, so the Wi-Fi was not the strongest. Um, and, you know, it was like, okay, fine, we'll watch TV. Well, you can't do that either. Because apparently when the pandemic hit, the hotel got rid of cable. And they upgraded everything to internet TVs. Which would be fine if the internet worked. Uh, but it didn't. Sh you, you couldn't really watch anything because the internet wasn't working. Well, it works, but sporadically. And I'm not going to try to sync up my cell phone data to the uh, TV. Because I shouldn't have to do that when, you know, you're paying hundreds of dollars for a room. And there's nothing they can do about it. I mean, it's just, you know, the internet just doesn't work. Uh, so going downstairs and complaining about it wouldn't, you know, it wouldn't do any good. That was a bummer. It's like, I could just watch some, you know, YouTube or something, but nope. Can't do that. Can't diamond paint because it's too dark. I'm just like, well, what the heck am I supposed to do with myself? I'm like, no wonder I was all like on edge. Like I literally had none of the things that helped me kind of decompress and, and relax. I couldn't do any of those things. 
And I can only eat so much candy before I start to feel sick. And then, you know, that doesn't make you feel good either. You shouldn't eat your feelings. Um, uh, but they do have a pool. And the first day, uh, my poor husband, oh my gosh, his leg was really hurting him still. And so I was like, I will take the kids down to the pool. You rest your leg because he walked up and down the beach. And so I was like, you did your part. I'm going to do my part. Uh, so I went into the pool area with the chillins and there were people like in and out of the pool, you know, like there's, when we got there, there was a, a mom and dad, with like a, a littler, maybe like a toddler, maybe like three, four, uh, they were in there with him. And so I was like, you know, trying to tell my kids, please be gentle and, you know, don't, don't splash these people if you can help it. But yeah like deaf ears so they were doing that and then this little kid was kind of trying to play with them but you know he's not quite old enough and so it's kind of a weird dynamic but you know my kids were good sports and so he was kind of using his little life jacket and swimming over to you know my son and you know my son he's a teenager but he's you know he's he's good with little kids and so the little kid's trying to talk to him and he's like yeah you know and he's like holding on to my son's arm and son, you know, my kids are not the best swimmers. They're getting better, but you know, we probably should do some more lessons and stuff like that. Well, they're not used to people holding on to them while they're trying to, you know, stay afloat. And so, you know, my son's kind of going to the side and then this little kid just starts pushing on his head. Like he's trying to crawl on his head, pushing him under the water. And the dad's just laying there floating on his back. And I'm watching because you know, I'm one of those parents where I'm, you know, think everybody's going to drown at any given moment. Uh, and I'm like, no, 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 no. I'm like yelling, jumping up and like going over to there, like, you know, trying to get like the kid to stop. And then, then the dad's like, oh, oh, you know, and goes and he's like talking to him and, you know, soothing voices. And it's like taking all of my energy not to be like, hey, uh, could you tell your kid not to drown my child, please? Thank you. And my poor son, he's like, eyes are huge because, you know, he's getting shoved under the damn water. And I'm like, okay, stay away from that kid, please. I mean, it's not, and it's not a huge pool. It's not like going to like the aquatic center or something like that. I mean, it's not a big pool. So uh, I was not sad when they left <laughs> in the pool, but then more people came in, you know, which is fine. We don't own the pool. Um, and then this group of little boys came in and, uh, I don't know, they were probably like three, three boys, probably ages between, I don't know, I'm so bad with ages, maybe like nine and like four yet. Yeah, they were a handful. Uh, they needed to burn off some energy. Uh, and so I was sitting on the side and there's really nowhere good to sit where you can't get splashed. Uh, but I had been doing okay. But when they came in, yeah, no, that was a, that was a no-go. There was, there was splashing to be had. Uh, and so they instantly jumped into the pool right next to where I was sitting. And I, I got soaked and I'm like, okie dokie. So I, I moved because <laughs> I was like, mm, I'll go sit by the deeper end because they were not venturing that way. Uh, so yeah, but the second day we went to the pool, there was nobody in there. It was glorious, which was absolutely glorious. We were there for almost two hours and nobody came in. I was like, this is amazing. Plus number one, when there's more people in a pool area, it's very loud and everybody's, you know, screaming and just, just basic talking is, is hard to hear and understand. So uh, I was not sad that, uh, that nobody was there was not sad at all. Uh, but we did decide to go home on Sunday afternoon instead of Monday morning, uh, mainly because I, I, I was like, I'm not going to be able to sleep. I know I'm not going to be able to sleep and I'm going to be an absolute freaking not nice person on Monday morning. Uh, and so we were like, well, okay, do we suffer through a night of not sleeping and noises? And then wake up on Monday morning being all, you know, grumpy and have to drive home? Or do we just 
go home on Sunday afternoon. And yes, we're going to have to sit in traffic because traffic is every time we leave uh, and deal with that and then have to put, you know, crap away on Sunday afternoon. But then you get to sleep in your own bed. Uh, so sleeping in my own bed one out. And it took us, normally it takes us about two hours. If there's average traffic to go there or get home or whatever. Uh, it took almost three and a half hours to get home. So that was a, that was a drive. <laughs> and uh, even though I made people pee before we left the hotel, uh, we, I got the, I have to pee. I'm like, of course you do. Of course. So we had to stop at a McDonald's. And then of course people want to eat at the McDonald's. And I'm like, no, no, we're going home. Because if we stop and eat, then it's just going to make it later and later and later and later. And I, we need to get home. <laughs> we need to get home and put the crap away and, you know, do all that stuff. Uh, so we did not eat. That is fine. Everybody lived. We had a bunch of food at home, obviously. Uh, but, oh, yeah. I am so glad we were going the way on the freeway we did, though, because there was a huge, um, I mean, there was probably a four-car accident on the other side of the freeway. And it looked like everybody was okay. It didn't look like the road was closed for fatalities or anything like that. Uh, but there was a fire truck turned sideways, blocking three out of the five lanes of the freeway. And that is a very uh, trafficy stretch of highway anyways. I was like, oh my gosh, I am so glad we're not going that way because yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. But so yes, we got home. The kitties were so excited to see us. They were bouncing off the walls, you know, getting in your personal space, not letting you leave. So there's just something about being able to, to curl up with your cat that just kind of ah oh, decompresses, right? Or your pet or you know, whatever pet you have. So that was, that was nice. That was nice. And then we didn't have to wake up really early on Monday morning to, you know, pack up our stuff and, and sit in traffic. But we had two, oh my gosh, my, both my kids had dentist appointments last week. And, uh, one, one's, one's, one's good. One doesn't have any cavities or anything, but his jaw has been clicking. And, you know, I just, my jaws always clicked, so I don't think of that as being something weird. Uh, but the dentist was like, I don't think your jaw should be making that noise with you only being, you know, like 15. And I'm like, oh. So I was like, well, that sucks. So we have to go see a, a specialist. <laughs> and I, of course, then I call the specialist. And I'm assuming since, you know, we see our dentist and they have our insurance information that everything will, you know, just be hunky dory because they're referring us to somewhere. I call and they take out all my information, you know, my name, my phone number, my this, my that. And then they ask for the insurance information. And, you know, I start saying what we have and she's like, oh, well, I don't know if we, I'm not sure if that's going to be authorized. So I need you to call your insurance and give them this code and, you know, tell them that this is for a blah, blah, blah specialist and, you know, make sure that it's covered. I'm like, you couldn't have told me this when I called. Like, we had to go through all of the, the stuff already and now you're telling me that? So I did not have the, the brain power yesterday to try to deal with that. I'm like, I'm not doing that today. <laughs> uh, so that's on my to-do list for today. And then the other kid... <laughs> needed to have a filling and this appointment has been rescheduled several times <laughs> because of allergies and you know you can't have the, the the sucky machine in your mouth um when you have allergies because you have to be able to breathe through your nose well it's had to been rescheduled several times and so you know i was like okay we're breathing good we're breathing good today we're gonna do it we're gonna do it well, it didn't happen because we kind of freaked out when they put the sucking machine in. We got, we got numb. 
you know, we got, you know, all the stuff done, except when the, the dentist was like, okay, we're going to put this in your mouth. And that's when she panicked and was like, I can't breathe through my nose. And I'm like, oh God. And I was like, okay. You know, she had a little nitrous thing on because I was hoping that would, you know, relax. Nope. Nope. Did not relax. And I'm like, you know, you just, let's try blowing your nose, you know, trying to stay calm, you know, positive, you know, we got to get this, you know, got to get this little filling fix. It's tiny. It's not going to be very long. Nope. 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 I can't breathe. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Because she knows if she says she can't breathe, I can't do it. So the dentist is like, well, okie dokie. Um, we can't do this. We can't do it. If, if she's going to freak out and I'm like, yeah, cause I mean, and I totally get it. I'm not blaming the dentist or, you know, I'm not blaming my daughter either. It's just, they can have her freak out when they are working on her tooth and you know, she's got her tooth, you know, drilled open. You can't, you can't have a kid freak out. Uh, so they're going to have to knock her out to do the filling and she's got another little filling. I'm like, Oh God. I mean, and so I don't fully know what that entails. I couldn't sit there and talk to them about it because she was freaking out because she was upset because she doesn't want silver fillings. And I'm like, well, because the lady said, well, you have to have silver fillings if we knock you out, which I don't, again, I don't understand why I, I, I we were not in a place to ask questions. Uh, so she's freaking out because she doesn't want a mouthful of, you know, metal and she's like, oh no, people are going to think I look weird. And I was like, nobody's going to see it. But you know, when, when, when a kid's upset, you can't logically explain something like that, which I totally get. I'm the same way. Uh, so yeah, that was kind of a, that was kind of a bummer. So that's another thing I need to figure out this week. Oh, <laughs> my man. And, and it's, you know, and, and, and I think it's probably more, you know, dental anxiety. I know a lot of people suffer from that. It's hard for me to understand that because I had, I had so many dental type things done as a kid. I mean, I had, I had retainers when I was in third grade and I had, you know, I had like really, really buck teeth in the front and then some of my teeth were pushed really far back. So I had a retainer that had these spring things on it. Then I had the, you know, the bands that they would hook on to the you know, the back of your teeth and you had to put the rubber bands on it. I had headgear that, you know, hooked onto the retainers. I had braces after that. I had gum grafts. I had, you know, like wisdom, not wisdom teeth, but like molars pulled and I had an implant tooth. I mean, good God, like I had so many different dental type things and I, I never even once, you know, I, I mean, I kind of panicked, I guess maybe like I didn't want to do it, but when it was happening, I just sat there and I let them do it because I knew it had to get done. So it's really hard for me to understand the whole, you know, the dental anxiety, you know, just because I didn't want to do it, but I did it. If that makes sense, you know, and I know, I know it's a thing. I'm not like discounting anybody's, you know, feelings or anxieties or anything like that. So please nobody say that I'm, I, you know, I know I don't understand it. And so I'm trying, I'm trying to understand it. Uh, so yeah, so that's on the to-do list. Yay. So, all right, let me do, let me do one little color and then I will zoom out. We will see what we did. Can I find a color? Yes, I will do J. Awesome. This morning, <laughs> well, my husband took the day's he took off yesterday because yesterday was Monday uh, because we were supposed to come home on Monday. Uh, so he had taken that day off and then he's like, I'm going to take Tuesday off too. Cause I have the time and I'm like, okay, cool. So he still has today off because you know, he kind of thought that he wouldn't have, this would be his only day off. Um, so, but the kids are going to spend the night at his mom and dad's house for, two nights, uh, which is exciting for them and, and me, you know, like, cause it's like, I'm not going to lie. I, I could use some, 
I could use some not being responsible for other human being time at the moment. Because uh, I really did not get any of that when we're, you know, with the ocean and packing and unpacking. And God, you just feel like when you're unpacking. I, get, I, I don't know, maybe it's just me and I'm just not efficient at putting crap away. Could be. Uh, I just feel like I'm wandering around the house with random things, putting random things away, putting random things down, picking random things up. I'm like, how? How? How is all this stuff? Because it doesn't get put away in the in the bags and in the, the um, you know, the suitcases and whatever. It doesn't get put away properly. <laughs> It just gets shoved into bags. Well, then when you have that, you, uh, you know, <laughs> then you have to put it all away and you're like pulling out, you know, candy bars and you're pulling out this and that and, and whatever. So, all right. I actually am going to have to stop because I have some stuff coming in. So that is where we are at for this kit so tune in next week because we're going to have the sticker announcement and all of that stuff so come back and if you have not please consider liking subscribing and doing all the jazz i very much appreciate it and i will see you guys again very very soon big awkward hugs bye guys